The Russian Navy's first Project 22350 frigate, Admiral Gorshkov, has set out on a deployment armed with new Zircon hypersonic cruise missiles. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu announced Gorshkov's deployment would see the warship sail in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans and the Mediterranean Sea. Admiral Gorshkov, the lead ship of the Gorshkov-class frigates, was officially commissioned in 2018 and is among the service's most modern surface combatants. According to Russian state media, Gorshkov's commanding officer, Captain Igor Krokmal, said that the warship has been loaded with variants of the caliber subsonic cruise missile family, which include anti-ship and land attack types, as well as Zircons. Neither the defense minister nor the commanding officer specified the number of Zircon missiles that the frigate would be carrying on this voyage. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Admiral Gorshkov, armed with Zircon, may not be a game-changer for Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Russian President Putin said during the event, which seems to have been conducted at least in part via video conference, I am sure that such powerful weapons will reliably protect Russia from potential external threats and will help ensure the national interest of our country. The Russian President had said last month that Zircon, which is sometimes referred to as Sirkan, would be operationally deployed in some capacity. In 2020, the Russian government said that the warship had carried out the first ever successful live-fire launch of a Zircon during a drill in the White Sea. The Russian Ministry of Defense said during that drill, the missile reached more than Mach 1 and traveled a total of 280 miles, or 450 kilometers. The test last May reportedly saw the weapon fly approximately 620 miles, or 1,000 kilometers. This was in line with claims that Putin had made about its capabilities in 2019. Hypersonic speed is typically defined as anything above Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound. As per reports, it uses a scramjet engine to reach this level of performance. The scramjet is an innovation on the ramjet. Hypersonic missile like Zircon combines the speed of traditional ballistic, like the American Minuteman III, and Russian Sarmat with the maneuverability of cruise missile, like Tomahawk. There are four aspects that make Zircon a lethal weapon. One, the speed makes it almost unstoppable. It's noted that even the excellent Aegis system equipping the American Arleigh Burke-class destroyers may be too slow to react in time. Two, since Zircon is heavy and fast, it will have lots of kinetic energy, which will come into play along with the explosive warhead, and a single hit from it could be enough to cripple even a supercarrier. 3. Another important aspect of the missile is its plasma cloud. As per multiple reports, the air pressure in front of the weapon forms a plasma cloud as it moves and is completely covered by a plasma cloud during the flight. Plasma cloud would absorb radio frequencies emitted from radars, and since the waves are not reflected back, it will essentially mean that the missile will be partially invisible. It's highly likely that the missile will be detected very late 
and this will make intercepting Zircon harder. The missile can actually fly at low altitudes, and hence it's very hard to defend against, as the radar will catch it much later when compared to traditional missiles. Admiral Gorshkov has a length of 120 meters. To give viewers perspective, it's the same as the length of a football field. The warship has been designed with stealth in mind, and the external contours are laid out in such a way that they reflect the radar signal away from the emitting source, thereby reducing the RCS, or radar cross-section. The warships of the class displace around 5,400 tons when fully loaded. The Admiral Gorshkov warships will have a speed of 29.5 knots, or 54.6 kilometers per hour, or 33.9 miles per hour, and a range of 4,850 nautical miles, or 8,980 kilometers, or 5,850 miles. Admiral Gorshkov is equipped with state-of-the-art sensors that will provide excellent situational awareness. The Admiral Gorshkov class is designed as multi-role warships capable of carrying out air defense, anti-surface warfare, and anti-submarine warfare. It's actually one of the most heavily armed frigates in the world, as the design has accommodated a lot of options, including 48 VLS, or Vertical Launch System, cells. For the anti-surface role, 16 2x8 3S14 VLS cells are dedicated, so some of these will be used to accommodate Zircon. On paper, the combination of Admiral Gorshkov and Zircon seems a major threat, and it is so to an extent. But there are certain caveats to this. One, at max, the warship can accommodate 16 of these missiles. This may not be enough to saturate a strong ship-borne or ground-based air defense. Two, Russian missiles and other weapons have been using Western chips and components. With sanctions in place, it will be hard for Russia to serial produce the missile in decent quantity. Zircon has lots of potential, but similar to the Su-57 stealth fighter and T-14 Armada main battle tank, it may have very limited availability to make a significant impact. 3. In Ukraine, it's been seen that the failure rate of the Russian missile is very high. That's when well-tested missiles were used. Zircon may have many more niggles than those, and hence its reliability is suspect. Officials in Russia have said in the past that it expects a number of other types of ships and submarines including the Russian Navy's advanced and pretty quiet nuclear-powered Yasin and Yasin M-class submarines to be able to employ Zircon in the future. While Zircon's roadmap is promising, it's not difficult to imagine that American and Western systems will find a way to intercept the missile reliably by the time it becomes mainstream in the Russian weapons cache. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.